Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, I'm going to look in on the baiting of the finished compost that I've been doing here. Um, this is what was in the 55 gallon bin as well as the other bins when the worm apocalypse happened. So let's see what we have in the volunteer department. It's not stupendous. Let's see. Oh yeah, that'll work. All right, let me get a bucket and start harvesting these guys. Okay, and I'm just gonna take them food and all put that in a cat litter bucket. Focus. So that's that's pretty good. For a minute there I really didn't think there was going to be very much of any takers. Um, avocados were kind of not getting love. Oh, there you go. The banana, the banana always gets the love, doesn't it? Alrighty. Well, I'm going to reset this migration area here, kind of move everybody over, and then I'll get them some food. Alrighty. Let's see. I've got some more banana. Not tortillas? I don't, I don't really know what that is. Uh, hopefully they like it and they will continue to move over for me. I'm going to cover them up and then basically this is just for a feeding zone indicator so that I don't dig up the rest because I have been coming in here as this dries and have been sifting the dry end of it. So the, lo the levels are getting lower and lower. You know, every couple of days I come down here and see is it okay to sift through my 1 12th screen or is it not? And if it is, then I try and take a little bit out. Um, but let's, let's see what else we've got for volunteers in the next one over. Well, that looks good too. All right. Still still getting a pretty good amount. I'm not real sure what that was, but we're getting about a quarter of a bucket so far. I'm just going to move these castings out of the way. That's pretty good. My husband's wondering, why do we keep getting all these bananas? I don't know. It was a sale. Nobody knows. All right, let's see this end. Seeing a little bit. There's one more banana bit left here. And I'll take those. All right. I'm going to replace that with some more bananas. Cover it back up. Put that on there. And we'll go to the lower level. See, see what we've got on the lower level here. That looks pretty good. Push this edge over a little bit. Not really big worms, but definitely quite a few. I think the volunteers are definitely moving their way out. Okay. 
still some worms, but I'm going to give them some more food and give them more reason to concentrate down in here and make it easy for me. Okay, so more bananas, orange peels, a little bit of bread. Hopefully they'll... Looks like they're doing a pretty good job of moving over, so shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's move over to the next one. All right, here we are in the corner pocket here. Let's see what we've got. Looks like there's some pumpkin in there. still wet in this pocket, but not like a big ball of worms. Okay, let's see, what do we have over here? Look like some bread or something. That's, that's a big worm ball. Size of my hand, size of the worm ball. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to try and maybe recover some of this food for baiting the other ones. See if I can grab that piece of bread, get the worms off of there, and use that again. So yeah, that cue the furnace. So that bread did a nice job of picking out the worms. So we'll give them. There's a potato. them, put that in there a little better, cover them up. So I will, I'm going to show you what we harvested for worms, I'll bring you back in a second. Alright, here is what I have left out of the few buckets. I know some people say don't feed bread, but if you get it wet, where it's like this, like a marshmallow, you can tell they really love it. And then, of course, the ubiquitous banana peels. Um, pick out the big amounts of food here. And then I can probably do a bit of a, a light harvest to get them out of the castings. And see what we've got. But this should be a, a nice influx for the big boy. So I will do a light harvest to get them out of the castings and I will bring you back. Okay, we're back. I've been doing the light harvesting for quite a few hours now. They don't seem to be quite as motivated to move um, when it's kind of cold and clammy. I don't know if the light's not bright enough. They're under the same lights that are growing the green peppers, but they're kind of still moving slowly here. Or maybe I'm just getting to the end and that's why they're moving slowly. If so, that's going to be a lot of worms. So let's kind of turn this upside down and see what we got. It's going to measure it with my sour cream container. And looks like it's more than a sour cream container. 
dirt over this way. So that's at least by volume, it looks like it's about two pounds. I know that made no sense, volume by pound. But <laughs> if you're making an ice cream cone with worms, I have like two ice cream and the two sour cream containers full of worms, and I'm not done yet. But I am going to move these over to the big boy. So. Go open up that. So this is not great light. Uh, lost battery on my portable light. But here we go. Seems like a good amount of worms. I suppose I could just put the rest of the castings in there. They've been kind of fiddled with enough. But I think I don't know, that's probably about two pounds of worms overall. It's about that thick and about twice the size of my hand, so probably about two pounds. All right, guys. Well, I promised to uh, bring you back when I had all of the worms sorted and put back into their new home. All right, guys. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. How about a worm with a muddy thumb up? And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.